Hello and welcome to our viewer display. Before I start this tutorial, let me begin by going over a few things first. Over here on the left hand side is our home page and this is where we mention any new additions to this viewer display. As you can see there are two things here that we recently added. The first being the report a map error and I'll go over that later in the tutorial. And the second is an addition to our layers data, uh, in this case the parcels layer. Now, as you're using this viewer, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns with addressing, uh, be sure to contact your 911 coordinator or us, and we'll be sure to follow up with you. And then if you have any questions in regards to this viewer, be sure to contact us, and we'll also follow up with you and your concerns. Now note that some of these issues uh, with this, dis there are some issues with this display at times and if an error does occur or some functions cannot close, simply just refresh the page and you should be all set to go. Now please note that many of our points and row data are not exactly mapped perfectly due to the original mapping back in 1998. However, we are slowly fixing up cleaning up this data to have a uh, cleaner map display for you and us as well. So please try to refrain using the report and error tool. If the only issue that you have is that our point data is slightly off in location, an example being a point for a house that's not directly over the center of the house. Now also you can see here on our display on our home page is that we update this data on a weekly basis. And finally, before we start the tutorial, please note that the imagery is roughly a year old and it may not directly reflect what is currently there. Alright, so let's begin the tutorial. Firstly, there are many ways to move around and zoom in on this map. To pan around, you can simply click on the map hold your selection and drag the map to your desired location. To zoom in and out, there's a few ways to do that. You can use the plus or minus over here in the left hand corner. You can double click on the map. Or if you have a scroller wheel on your mouse, that works as well. Now note, as you zoom in, you'll see certain layers such as the county boundaries here disappear and other layers will start to appear such as roads and houses and you'll notice the imagery as well. Now in the upper right hand corner over here you can use the search tool and you can actually use this to zoom in as well. So let me search an address. You can search uh, a town a road in the town or an exact address if you have one. So in my case I'll use an exact address. Now you see when I type this in I use the ST for street right here and you can type it in as spell it out S-T-R-E-E-T -E -E either way it will find that location. So let me hit return. And you'll notice on the left hand tab is everything that is related to my search. And the top function, or the top most uh, selected, is the exact match. And you'll notice right below it is a similar match of a 100 East State Street. Now, anything below this is the related, relo related roads, as you can see here, of State Street. Now, let me zoom into the map by clicking on the point of my desired address. And you'll note that it did zoom me in. However, I want to zoom in even further until more layers become 
visible and more detail also becomes visible. Okay, so before I zoom in, you'll notice that my point that I just selected is highlighted in yellow and also note that it is directly in the center of the display. So let me zoom in and you'll notice that it does appear a little cluttered. So what I'm going to do is go over the layers list and you can turn off or on certain layers that we provide on this display. And to be able to find that layers list, there's two locations to access that. The first being in the lower left hand corner over here and you'll see it says map layers. Or the second way is by clicking the orange 911 tools box and going down to where it says show the layers list. Now you'll note that there's a lot of layers here that we provide. The top three being live. Uh, which are through VTrans, USGS, and NOAA. And any of these layers which are in all cap locks are what we maintain and what we maintain through our 911 town coordinators, such as the E sites or the address point locations, hydrants, landmarks, any footprints layers. Um, and things that are just in regular text is what we borrow uh, from, for example, VCGI, such as the parcels which we recently added, or lakes and rivers, for example. Now to turn on these layers or turn off, you just have to simply check or uncheck that layer. So in my case, it seems really cluttered here. So I'm actually going to turn off the building footprints layer to see more detail. Now, let's uh, go over some of the live imagery here, or live data that uh, we provide. And let me zoom out to get a better view of it. So, for example, let's turn on the VTrans live. And you'll see, if you zoom out, it's a little easier to see. For example, right here where the camera is, you can click on that and it will give you a hyperlink to their website and you can see what exactly the camera is looking at this moment. Likewise with the stream flow stations from the USGS you can click on their points and it will bring you to a link to their website. And if you zoom out even further, you can also see the current live weather as well. Now, as we go through uh, the rest of these layers, let me zoom back in. A few of these layers uh, are a little bit older however they can be helpful in some cases such as the older imagery. Now the older imagery is located in the bottom of our layers list where we have the VCGI color imagery uh, and that same imagery in black and white as well. Now what's nice about the black and white imagery is that that was taken in winter and you, there are no tree covered. Now there are other layers here which are really important such as the emergency service zone or the ESC and this is a layer which we also maintain and if I turn this on it will give you the who provides coverage for this area for police, fire and ambulance. Now if you zoom out you'll see the boundary of their coverage in a dark maroon or a dark red. As you can see, Middlesex State Police here, 
versus Montpelier police in this area. So other layers here uh, that we can go over. Let me zoom to a different location, such as J Peak. And you'll notice that we have in this uh, area, we have mapped all the ski trails. And I'm actually, I want to see the ski trails. However, I don't want to see the uh, long trail or any other trails. I just want to see the ski trails, for example. So to be able to do this, you click on this little plus arrow here to show all the tra all the trails that are available that you can then turn on and off. So in this case, I want to turn off every trail besides the uh, ski trail, besides the skiing trail. Now, I don't want to see the lifts either, so I'll just turn that off as well. You can see I now have what I wanted, and you can also click on any of these, any of our point data. For example, I just clicked on this trail, and it tells me a few things uh, when I clicked on it. So it says uh, Angel's Wiggle, and it says uh, it's a Alpine Trail Intermediate, and it also tells me that it's at J Peak Resort. Likewise, this is the same thing. Uh, we, we still have this, what we call is a quick tip, and we have this function for when you click on any of our data, such as the eSites layer or a road. So for example, I click on the this address here of 26 Bridge Road, and it tells me the address tells me the site type, in this case other residential, and again you can see what site types they are based on in the legend and the rather large list of site types that we have for buildings. So another important piece of information you get here by clicking on the point to get the quick tips, in this case at J Peak Resort they use different addressing standards and they also have an address of Village 141 through 144. And the last bit of information which you see here is our Eastside ID and that is the number that we generate in our data. And in this case it is 337991 and that number is not going to change for that point unless the address changes. And with that, that pretty much sums up uh, the layers list. And the rest of them are pretty self-explanatory. All you got to do is just turn them on and off.